I did have a pet cow named Birthday Cake when I was a child. I grew up on a farm in central Missouri. Whoops. When each of us turned, when each of us turned five years old, we got a very special present from my father, and it was a cow, a baby cow, a calf, and I named mine Birthday Cake. But you know, it wasn't just a present. It was also a little economics lesson. You know, parents do that to their kids. Kids, watch out. Now we were five years old, we were old enough to do the chores, to make the money, to, to buy the feed, to pay the vet bills, all that stuff for that cow, for that pet. However, when my younger brother David turned five years old, we were temporarily living in town because we were having water and electricity put into our farmhouse. So dad thought maybe a cow wasn't an appropriate gift for a town kid, even a temporary one. So instead, he gave to David a little tiny kitty cat. And this kitty cat grew up to be a huge tomcat. It was humongous, sleek, sleek fur, black as midnight. So David appropriately, appropriately named this cat Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. And Knight was the king of the neighborhood. All the other tomcats were scared to death at night. Knight beat up all the other tomcats. All the little cats in the neighborhood looked just like Knight. It was the cat's meow. <laughs> However, as David progressed from elementary school to junior high to high school, well, Knight progressed in age as well, and it got to the point where he wasn't winning all the fights with the other tomcats. That's the way it goes, yeah. He'd come home and he'd be a little beat up. He came home one morning, his right front paw was badly bloodied. He'd really lost a fight, but he kept going out there. Another morning he came home, his left ear was kind of torn off, and then really hard, it was hard to see the day he dragged and been scratched down the side. Got to the point where he wasn't winning any of the fights. Got to the point where none of the little cats in the neighborhood even resembled him whatsoever. It was sad. One day, not too long after that, Dad and I were walking through the backyard up toward the house, and we came upon night just splayed out in the grass, just barely moving. And standing overnight, looking very thoughtful, was my younger brother David, now in high school. So dad and I, we went over and we stood overnight and we attempted to look very thoughtful as well. <laughs> and after a while, dad said, David, what's with Knight? And David said, well, dad, I'm trying to take care of him, so I took him to the vet and I got him fixed. <laughs> now, you don't do this with a farm cat. And dad said, you got him fixed? Well, David, what you go and get him fixed for? And David said, I don't know. You know, he's losing all the fights, Dad, and he just won't quit fighting. He's just getting old. I mean, his paw is a big mess. He's got that big scratch. His ears are, he's just getting too old. He's getting too old. I just got him fixed. And I remember my dad looking down at night for the longest time over at David, back down at night, and then without saying anything to David, turning, walking toward the house, passing by me, whispering very softly in my ear, Beth, when I get old, remind me not to hang around David. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know, that's my dad. <laughs>